got it. Miles. Goose. That's at least a mile wide. Look, they're that, splitting. Hear that speck? Hey, what's up guys? It's King Richard 13 and it's Sunday. Just had lunch at Pastor's house and fixing to run home, change real quick, and we are gonna be putting some AMP research steps on. So this is a video, or maybe it's a couple videos after the one where we tore up my new land, uh, getting a couple trucks stuck and pulling them out and doing some damage and stuff like that. So this video is following that up. So hopefully y'all have seen that one. Gonna get changed here and get started working. Here we go. All right, so we're back. Got the actual camera now. Uh, it's a little windy today, so bear with me. Here's the steps. I'm gonna load these up. That's my truck. That work. Oh, what we should do is pull your truck in the field there. Do some before and after pictures. Nice. And down for that, I'm gonna go grab my camera. I'm gonna take a couple side shots, so it'll be like before and after the steps. Alright, that wraps it up for the invisible steps. In 
stars. Please do not throw this away. These are the motors. Old school. One day we'll do, redo this <laughs> in an actual shop. If my concrete ever gets done. Oh yeah, you know the instructions that we threw in the back of the truck? Probably has torque specs, <laughs> but you know from my experience, it takes about. Two and a half Uga Lugas. All right, by the way, guys, when you're doing stuff like this, you know, on a, working on a creeper, don't put your head down, otherwise you'll run over your mullet. <laughs> Leave me a comment down below and let me know what y'all thought about the mullet series, because it's going bye-bye this week. Uh-oh, <laughs> no more mullet? R.I.P. It was fun while it lasted. You know when you hear that Milwaukee wind down? Yeah. It's actually pretty pretty snug on there. But it stops. It gets it to about I wanna say one and a half of the loops. So before I always put the the actual steps on, I always do the wiring first because sometimes that step will get in the way. Time for the wiring. John, this is up to you. This is my opinion on these lights. But in my opinion, the lights suck. And you have to drill a hole for it. And for me, I don't like drilling holes, number one. Number two, I wish they would do a better job of this, but all that's holding it up is just a little piece of 3M tape. And so I guess later on, maybe if we have more time, we can super glue them or something like that. But yeah, what we can do for now is put them on without the lights. And then maybe some other time we can that's good. Put the lights on. But I mean, we, we can, it's just, in my experience, these always fall off. And comment down below and let me know if, if y'all have had amp steps before and these have fallen off. I really wish amp would figure out a better way, a much better way for these lights to hold up. Um, even like if you had, like you're already gonna have to drill holes for these. Might as well have two holes drilled in my opinion, and then have uh, a nut and a bolt to hold the end of the lights. Look how high wall this thing is. <laughs> Doesn't that look fun? <laughs> <Pardon me. gasps> Good. already pick up a no limit stage two intake from our website www.outdoortrucks.com now what we're going to be doing is hooking up all this so i'm gonna put that down for now this is what goes into the open tube now i'm gonna hold that drag it across the top end of that motor there and run along the back of the hood yeah there we go Let's see here Top of here, like that. these will run up into the truck to go to the OB2 port. All right, so this is how you run these two wires into the cab. Take out your floor mat. So, this kick panel right here, this cover is what we're going to take off. So what I always do is I 
there's a weather seal. And I go up here. Yes. Here's that. I think music. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's all right. And you go underneath the carpet. So actually, we're gonna take this weather seal back. Just like so. Basically what we're trying to just do is get access to the carpet. Go underneath the carpet. You look underneath the carpet. Right there is a little rubber grommet. So what we're gonna do is poke a hole in it. So I'm gonna poke a hole from the bottom. All right, let me know if you see the grommet moving. You see it moving? Yes, sir. Am yeah. I through? Yes, sir. All right, that's all I'm gonna do. I like to not have like such a big opening for the elements. So now I'm gonna stick the wires through. There we go. Got him. Got him? All right, mm -hmm. go ahead and pull that up. Run these wires up towards the front. I'm gonna go ahead and plug her in and then run the wire behind. See that? Mm -hmm. Over that. Make sure it's not in the way of nothing. All right. And run this. Oh, these are Milwaukee's. Brand new. Bought them yesterday. Home Depot brought it. These are much nicer than the ones from Harbor Freight. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> oh, there we go. That ain't going nowhere. Is that better? Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Like a bird's eye view or mm -hmm. fish eye. All right, so now you see here, tuck this wire coming from OB2, go over the brake cable. That way it's out of the way of clear of everything. Just make sure I'll go through and push the brake down and release it. Just make sure it's not in the way. Now tuck this behind this panel that I was talking about. And I just always just tuck it back, tuck it back out of the places where the clips go into. And tuck it down, down, down. And there's a little channel right here that it crosses over to, which goes underneath to that. So, and just tuck the excess under, back underneath the carpet. Put this cover back on like so. Like so. Oh, get the carpet. Oh, yeah, and get the carpet back. Oh, yeah. Make sure you watch out for these slots right here because this kick panel cover will will cut cut through a wire even though it's rounded don't ask me how i know i did it on my 6.4 back in the day John, so we're about, uh, I'd say about 75, 80, maybe 85% of it. What are your thoughts so far? Glad you're doing it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So the next part is, we're getting, we're getting to the fun, fun, funner stuff. The steps. Which is kind of funny. You're getting to the step part of the Step. steps <laughs> at the one of the very last steps. <laughs> Nailed it. Alright. Can go back a little if it needs to. Oh yeah. Mm. That looks great. Way better. Woo. All right, let's do another bench press. Pretty satisfying to watch. Oh yeah. It's done. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Found it. Yeah, go ahead and get there with this test.
man. So, John, I know it's been a cold one, and my mullet mm -hmm. looks crazy right now because of wind, but what do you think? Love it. Love, Love it. it. It looks way better than that. Well, guys, that's pretty cool. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video and uh, stay tuned for the next one. And I know John can't hear me right now, but uh, in this next video, we're gonna be surprising him with some uh, LEDs for his truck. So keep that on the download. We're gonna surprise him with that tonight. All right, guys, take care, bye.